G'day. In this video, we're going to be having a look at his cubic numbers and cube roots. And these are pretty simple, so let's just get straight into it. So, a cube number is a number that is multiplied by itself three times. I'll give you an example here. So, we could write 5 cubed as follows. We'd write 5 to the power of 3. 5 multiplied by itself three times. This means 5 times 5 times 5. And we call this a cubic number because if you were to draw a cube and the side length was 5, the way that we would work out the volume of this cube is we would go the length times the width times the height. 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 125. So what about the cube root? What does that mean? Now the cube root's pretty simple. The cube root is just the opposite of the cube. So what we could do with this series of numbers here, we could say, okay, what is the cube root of 125? And we'd write this as follows. 125, and we'd use its same particular symbol for square, but we put a 3 here as well now to show that it's the cube root. So what number do we multiply by itself three times to get 125? And as we see here, the answer is 5. All right, pretty simple, right? What about we go through one more example? Okay, what about... What is 2 cubed? So this means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is equal to 8. And you know what I'm going to ask you next. I'm going to say, okay, what is the cube root of 8? So what number do we multiply by 8 to get... So what number do we multiply 3 times to get 8? Well, we know the answer to this. It's 2. So the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Anyway, nice, simple idea. Hope that video was uh, some help. We'll see you next time. Bye.